It's now 3 p.m. in the afternoon of Saturday the 13th of uh, December. We were supposed to have finished yesterday evening, Friday evening. Uh, we didn't finish till way into the morning of Saturday when the co-chairs of the ADP uh, presented their text. Immediately countries were quite dissatisfied and unhappy about it. They went home to sleep and then came back in the morning and were asked to give their views and, and quite a number of developing countries expressed grave dissatisfaction and it almost looked as if we may not get any views in Lima at all until the president of the COP, the minister from uh, Peru, Manuel Bruda Vidal, took over. He said that he wants to take one last chance one last push, we have a matter of hours left. He's going to talk to the negotiators. He's taking it away from the co-chairs of the negotiation. He's taking it personally. He will talk to the ministers who are here. He will talk to all the delegates. And he will try and drive one last attempt at an agreement. And he has promised to come back this evening, Saturday evening, uh, with something. I'm going to be leaving the venue now. I'm going to go back to London this evening, so I won't be here till the very end. Uh, I will hear the results, perhaps on the plane or in the airport, I hope. Uh, and so I will do my wrap-up of the entire COP uh, from London once I'm back there on Monday and uh, talk about all the different things that happened here and try to summarize the results. So I'm leaving the COP now, still uncertain what the results going to be, still absolutely uncertain whether it will be a good one or a bad one. I'm prepared to say it's a bad one at the moment because what they've presented now I don't like. Whether Even if the countries agree to it, I will not be happy with it. But I'm uh, prepared to be pleasantly surprised if they can pull something out of that in the next few hours. We shall see.